Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk with another episode of I Buy Old Records, more 45s, yes. And so, theme this time is rock. So we've got hard rock, we've got soft rock, we've got southern rock, we've got arena rock, we've got rock from the 70s, we've got rock from the 80s. We even have one that's rock from the 90s. The rest of it, everything's between 1970 and 1990. And so, these are 45s again. Where did I get these 45s? I got them all in the wild. Most of them came from the crazy, chaotic, good antique store where I was getting them five for a dollar. Not all of them. Some of them came from a couple other antique stores or even got one out of the Goodwill. Those other ones were like a buck each, but most of them were 20 cents each. And so let's get into them because there's a lot of them. Uh, we've got a few dozen to show you today. So let's start off with some Dave Edmonds on the MAM label. I hear you knocking from 1970. Uh, roulette label. Usually when I see that label, I think of Tommy James and the Shondells. But no, this time it's the Grassroots with Temptation Eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and mention to you, this is also this is a 1973 reissue of a 1970. I'll mention to you that the Blake Babies did a pretty cool cover of Temptation Eyes. Uh, next, I've got uh, a series of stuff from good old Capricorn Records. So we've got Represent the Southern Rock. Uh, we got a couple from the Marshall Tucker Band. We got Fire on the Mountain from 1975. We got Heard It in a Love Song from 1977. I'm going to pull out Fire in a Mountain because I think this will be a good thumbnail. Um, and I've always been partial to uh, the Almond Brothers in my Southern Rock, but um, I've gotten a little bit more into the Marshall Tucker Band. Uh, Can't You See, which I didn't find a single of, unfortunately. I'd love to. Um, I think that's just an outstanding song. Uh, we got some Elvin Bishop on the Capricorn label, Fooled Around and Fell in Love, from like 1976. Uh, we got Midnight Rider. This was from a Greg Allman uh, solo album from about, what, 73? So what else do we got here? We got some Nazareth. Love Hurts on one side, as heard in Dazed and Confused. Hair of the Dog on the other side. Now you're messing with a son of a bitch. Uh, also on the a and label, we got some Super Tramp. We got Dreamer on one side. And we got Bloody Wet right on the other side. Um, we'll skip up into the 1980s here. Here is good old John Fogarty with The Old Man Down the Road. I'm pretty sure that was from that Center Field album from about 84 or so. Uh, also a sort of some mainstream 80s rock. We've got Huey Lewis in the News with The Heart of Rock and Roll. Uh, we got Foreigner. With that double vision on the Atlantic label, that's from what, late 70s, 1978. Uh, we got uh, some early Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Don't Do Me Like That. Um, and this is on the Backstreet label uh, from 1979. I think this is the second copy I have of this because the night, Patti Smith Group. Um, we got some sticks, too much time on my hands. Queen of Spades on the backside. I guess it's like the Queen of Hearts that Juice Newton does. Um, we got a late 70s Alice Cooper in the wrong company label. So Polydor sleeve, but it's Warner Brothers. How are you going to see me now? From like 1978. We got some ELO on Jet Records. Hold on tight from about, oh, 77, Earth, 1981, whatever, I had the year wrong. Oh, this is nice and soft, making love out of nothing at all by Air Supply. Never thought I'd own an Air Supply record, but I paid 20 cents. Uh, we have the late Vangelis with Chariots of Fire. We've got... This hooked on classics thing here. Uh, we've got 
Um, I think some of these might have came from, I might have shown them before, the records that um, Adam at the Record Crate gave me. Because I think a couple of these, I don't think I actually bought this Maureen McGovern Different Worlds. Or maybe I did. Different Worlds. That was the theme for that TV show, Angie, with Donna Pescal. You might remember Donna Pescal. She thinks she was, she was uh, Annette from Saturday Night Fever. We got Nicolette Larson with Lot of Love, which of course is a Neil Young cover. We got this record I bought because uh, I thought Reggae Kind of Way sounded like a cool song by Paul Davis on the Bang label. And then, of course, the A-sides, actually, I go crazy. When I was at the store, I didn't remember the song, but as soon as I put it on, I remember this was kind of a late 70s uh, pop staple. Uh, I think this is the only picture sleeve one from the group. One of the few picture sleeves I got out of the Crazy Cat at Good Antique Store. So this is a latter career America album, The Border. Uh, look, they're playing, I think they're playing Chinese checkers there on the beach. Uh, I think this is from like 1982 or so. Uh, yeah, 1982 on the Capitol label. And we've got Billy Vera and the Beaters at this moment. Rhino. If I remember right, that came, that was like used in the Family Ties TV show. We got the Eurythmics with Missionary Man from uh, about 84 or so. Same time period, we got Kama 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 Chameleon by the Culture Club. I think that was 83. Just a couple more to show. Yeah, we just have uh, two more to show here. Um, we got this on the Sire label, uh, M. Uh, so the A side here is pop music um, from like 1979, pretty new wavy. And then finally, here's your 1990. Power Ballad, Wind of Change by the Scorpions. Not really my favorite Scorpion song, but I paid 20 cents for it. So there you go. There's some rock for you. Some hard rock, some soft rock, soft rock, some southern rock, some arena rock, some 80s rock, some 70s rock, some 90s rock. Rock on.